I'm Liam Craig and you're watching Hibernian TV. Liam, we're here just before the international break. Another game, another goal for yourself. Six for the season so far. How pleased are you with your goal haul so far for the campaign? Obviously, I'm delighted um, to get that many goals so early on in the season. Um, but the pleasing thing is that you know we've won a few games now as well. And um, you know, after a shaky start of opening two games of the season, you know we've bounced back well, and you know we're, we're sitting nicely going out the international break, looking forward to two home games. You were signed in the summer to add goals from midfield and you've certainly already managed to do that. How do you set yourself a target before the campaign started? No, I think the last few seasons I've scored seven or eight goals a season and um, I'd like to think I could, could get double figures and that's what I, I set off to do at the start of the season. And you know, To get six so early on in the campaign is, uh, is pleasing but you know, a lot of games left and you know, hopefully I can add to that tally. How does it feel to be the club's leading marksman heading into the international break at this stage in October? Ah, it's nice, but you know, um, a lot of credit's got to go to the team. And you know, obviously, Zuby set up a goal the other night, and you know, Big Vine has set up a few goals as well. And I think uh, that's a pleasing thing. We're getting goals from midfield. Obviously, Robbo scored as well this season, and, and James and Heff are getting goals as well. So you know, it's good that we're getting goals from from all over the park. And uh, like I might say the main thing is the team's winning. I think it'd be fair to say that the performance at Partick Thistle wasn't our best of the season so far, but we still managed to record a win. Do you feel that that's a, the hallmark of a successful team? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, and I think we'll probably play better this season and lose games. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to go away from home and, and win games, and for us to have won three away already this season, uh, you know, it's great credit to the boys, and it's important now that we take um, we, we get back to Easter Road and, and win more games there. Obviously, the last two games there, the, the league game against St Mirren, the cup game against Stranraer, we've won them too, and um, you know we need to make Easter Road a hard place to come. Last season at St Johnston, probably it's fair to say you had a slow start to the campaign, but they ended up finishing third. Do you feel that it is about peaking at the right time? There's no point being top of the league in October. It's all about where you finish in May. Oh, absolutely, but I think you know you just don't panic. There was certainly no panic at St Johnson last season, and you know um, it was refreshing that the, the, the chairman stood by the manager because he knew his capabilities, and um, he got repaid at the end of the season for that. Obviously, with the manager moving and, and making some money for the club, and you know it was the same here. The, the manager and Jimmy Nicholl at the start of the season were brilliant, kept the place bubbly, and you know we're getting the rewards for that now because it is a close knit group we've got here. And, you know I think that's shown in the performances and like the game against Partick Thistle. Things weren't going well, but we stuck together and grinded out a, a, a result. 